part of this video, I figured what I'd do is show you how I edit some of my music for my pyro musicals. Uh, the sample song we're going to be using today is Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. Uh, the application I'm using is Audacity. This is a free application uh, for both the Mac and the PC. For me, when I do pyro musicals, I don't like to use the entire song. I'll usually use snippets of the song, or I'll, I'll get the first part of the song, some parts of the middle, and then the end of the song as well. And I use Audacity to do all my editing. Now, one of the nice things about pop music or rock music or anything like that, it has a lot of the same repeated sections through it, a lot of the same parts. So it makes it really easy to take out sections and seamlessly connect it to somewhere else later in the song. So the first thing you do with Audacity is you bring your track into the actual application. Now in this case, usually the, app, the song will come in as a stereo, so there'd actually be two tracks showing here. For all my Pyro musicals, I always mix it down to a mono sound, and if you want to do that, you can just come up here into Tracks, mix and then you'd have one there that mix stereo down to mono and that takes it down just to a single track. The reason you want to do that is so your audience is hearing all of the music at one time and there's really no reason to have like a left and right stereo operation going on there. So you go up there you do the tracks mix and then you mix it down to mono. The next thing that you want to do or that I do is I'm going to add a label track. Now you can see I already did add a label track here but when the application opens and you bring the track in, it's not going to be there. So what you do is you come up here to track, add new, and then label track. And that's going to add that there. Now what makes these label tracks really handy is it allows you to annotate parts of the music or parts that you want to cut out. So what I do is I listen to the song in its entirety, and then I'll go through and I'll mark where certain parts of the song start or where they end or any notable part within the song. A lot of times being where I'm going to make a cut. So and I've already gone through and done all this, but let's just say that I didn't have that track there and I'm going to go ahead and put in the new label track. Okay. What I would do then is I would listen to the song. I'm just going to start here. Actually, let's zoom in on this a little bit. Let's just say we start right here. So we can kind of see in here that this is where that starts. So what I might do is I might come in here and zoom in just a little bit more because I have an idea of when it's going to say welcome to the jungle or when it's going to start that word. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and that's going to pause. Or you could use the key up here, the, the pause button. Uh, anytime you hover over something, whenever you see a letter or keystroke combination, that means you can just use that keyboard equivalent as well. I use both when, when I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here and play, and then basically I'm going to stop it right as it gets to the Welcome to the Jungle part. Okay, so right about in here, you know, I guess if I was to click here, all right, and then I play it. All right, you can see that's where it starts. So what you'd come do is you'd come down here into your label track, click your mouse button, and then you can just start typing. Hmm, it doesn't matter. All right, and now what we want to do is we want to go find the next section of where they start that chorus or that phrase. So I'm just going to scroll down, and maybe I didn't know, so maybe I just start in here someplace, and I hit play. All right, so we'd be hearing it again, and we'd say, like, all right, it looks like it was right about in here where it started. So I could click there, and if I hit play again, go it sounds like that's right about where it starts so I'd come down here into my label track I could click there and I could just start typing again okay I'm not too concerned about spelling for this demo all right so we've identified two parts of the track where they have um, you know where it starts over so I'm just gonna zoom back out a little bit here all right so the idea is I want to remove this first phrasing of the song. I want to try to shorten the song down. Again, there's going to be a lot of parts that you might cut out of a song. You know, there's going to be sections where it might just be slow or something like that, and you just don't want it into your song. It's, it's going to be too slow, or you don't have the, the pyro product to go with it, or you're just looking to condense them a little bit, get the most popular parts of the music. So I'm going to come back to this section here, and I want to remove this entire section. So it starts here, and then it's going to flow pretty much seamlessly into this next one. 
So I'm going to click and drag, and we can see here that that is going to select on either side of the section that I want to edit. I'm going to click this icon right up here. This is going to take that selected and make it the entire view of my waveform. So there we go. You can see it kind of zoomed in. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this one for now. So what I want to do now is we've basically determined that right about here, is where the first part starts and down here is where the second part starts so what should be able to happen is I should be able to take out this entire section right here and have it seamlessly go from here over to here so I'm gonna come down I'm gonna be right about here I'm gonna click and drag and you can see that I want to be sure that I'm down also into my label section because I wanted to take that out as well so all of my labels adjust accordingly so there we go, I click and release. Now I simply hit the delete key and you can see that it brought everything forward. So now, typically in the song, it would say, welcome to the jungle, we got fun and games. It goes through and then on the next section it would be, welcome to the jungle, we take it day by day. Well now it's gonna go right into the first part of we take it day by day. So let's take a look or listen. So we're able to get that entire first section out of there. Now the thing I learned about working with your audio files here, I used to spend a lot of time getting the beats exactly matched up, but then I, I realized after doing this for a couple of years that once the pyro is going and everything else, the audience is not going to notice that there's a tenth of a second or a hundredth of a second off or there's a slight misstep or a double beat there that normally you know would identify, oh there was a cut or there was an edit there. When the pyro's going and the crowd's watching, usually the pyro is a little bit louder than the music even, so those little missteps or double hits or whatever else, if it's not exactly seamless, don't worry about it. It's not going to impact the final product that you're working with. So that's pretty much it. Uh, after that, I would continue to go through here, go back out to my waveform, and I would start you know, going through these other sections and figuring out where I want to take out and where I want to break things down. and match them up to other parts of the song. So I hope you found this helpful. That's uh, one of the things I use. Audacity as a free application. Use it on your Mac, use it on your PC. And um, I guess this will be part one as I work through some other stuff. I'll show you some other ways that I use Audacity to create an entire seamless, you know, one playlist, or uh, one track for the Pirate Musical. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any uh, comments about how you know what I do here in Audacity, feel free to leave those comments below. If you know a better way to do it or you found this helpful, leave a comment and let me know. Maybe we can have some discussion about it in the comments section. Thanks again.